Hello and welcome back to A Feel Good Garden. This month we'll be concentrating on wildlife. Here at Callings we want to give you some ideas about how you can grow and protect the wildlife in your garden. As many of you will know, one of the most important creatures in the world are bees. Let's have to take a look at one of our bee houses. It's made from sustainable timber and perfect for protecting bees from predators and the weather. Why not create your own natural meadow with this wonderful wildflower mix? Perfect habitat for bees, bugs and butterflies. And that's what the shop has to offer. I now pass you over to John for August's Feel Good Garden Plants of the Month. Hello, welcome to uh, the August uh, Feel Good Garden. We've been featuring um, plants which are suitable for attracting wildlife into your garden and typically at this time of year it's bees and butterflies and pollinating insects. We've got in the garden here Rebecca, um Little Gold Star and Goldstrom uh, which are two varieties which you see are really good for attracting insects. Next we've got Physocarpus Tiny Wine which is a nice purple leaf shrub which has a little white flower which is good for pollinators. Here we have Echinacea Delicious Candy which the bees absolutely love. It's a prairie plant, um, great for adding colour in the garden at this time of year. Next to that we've got Buddleia Bees Knees. Uh, I think everyone knows Buddleia's common name is Butterfly Bush um, because bees and butterflies love it. Babina benariensis, which again is absolutely adored by bees and butterflies, they're really um, attracted to it. Ground cover plant here, or for winding its way through and linking plants together, is geranium roseanne. This was the RHS plant of the century, voted to be the best plant introduction in the last hundred years um, because it just flowers for months. A really fantastic plant. Just coming into flower here, we have Caryopteris Dark Night. Again, it's a lovely late flowering blue shrub. Um, drought tolerant, likes a nice sunny position. Here we have Peravoskia Blue Spire, another of these loose feathery plants, absolutely adored by bees and by butterflies. And last but not least in the bed here, I've used a Sambucus Black Lace. If you want to grow a feathery leaf plant, a bit like an acer, but in a hot sunny spot, this is ideal. Um, the leaves don't scorch. Again, it has a white purpley tinged flower a little bit earlier in the season, and that's followed by a fr fruit, which is great for birds. In the corner bed, we have um, a, a nice low growing perennial sedum uh, rose carpet, which will have a beautiful pink flower on it. Again, absolutely magnet for bees. Um, and it's a succulent, so it's it's tolerant of dry conditions. Got three types of salvias next: cherry lips, amethyst lips, um, and hot lips. Again, really attractive to pollinating insects, and they also have a lovely scent on the leaf. If you grow it, they smell like black currant. Last but not least, really spectacular flower: Lobelia Queen Victoria. Um, again, that's a perennial, um, which will come back each year. A real attractive garden at this time of year to bring wildlife into your garden.